Come on in. Welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen. If you're looking for motivation, man, have I got you covered today because I have got so much to get done and we're having a snow day, so it's the perfect day to get it done. Then the kids and I are going to do a movie day. Well, I'm sure my husband will join us too. We're doing a movie afternoon. I'm going to get some movie snacks together. I also want to give you some ideas if you're looking for like Super Bowl snacks or just any time when you're just having a fun time. And we never were into football, but you know, these days you're looking for any reason to celebrate. So we're on it this year. So come on with me and get motivated with me too. Before I clean this mess up, I want to get some dip gelling in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna get that started and then I can work on this. This is one of our easiest and favorite dips. I don't know if you've ever used this. To me, if you're mixing something with sour cream, you know it's gonna be good. So 16 ounces of sour cream mixed with one of these packets. I also love the veggie dips. It's Knorr's, K-N-O-R-R, uh, apostrophe S is my favorite one, but today we're gonna do this ranch. Also having something that your kids or grandkids can be dipping vegetables in is a great way to get them eating veggies. Now you could just cover it with saran wrap or tin foil and let it chill in the fridge or you could put it right back in your sour cream container. It doesn't take up a ton of space in the refrigerator. We need these for our movies. Yeah. Nothing. Just talking about brands and YouTube land.
One of our big family favorites is these Nestle's Toll House cookies, but if you are gluten-free, dairy-free, or both, these Sweet Laurens, I highly recommend these. These taste really, really good. And I think even if you buy, if you're gluten-free, dairy-free and your family isn't and you buy these, I think the whole family will like them. I really do. So we're going to make some of these for my daughter, Rachel, and the rest of us are going to have some of these. Perfect for movie night or game day. Love. I always use parchment paper and then I don't have to grease and try to get all that grease off. And I used to be a real homemade cookie snob. But as I get older, if everybody's happy, I'm happy. It doesn't have to be homemade. I always have to have a little piece myself. So one of my goals today was to have the bathroom clean and Yvonne is going to give me a hand with that. She's going to handle the sinks, the sink, only one, and mirror. Woohoo! Okay, 350, these, 325, vegan ones, vegan hooks, yep. And then for the thing after, we're going to have to get a lot of sodas. You mean those? Super Bowl. 
Let's see. Dad. Super cool when we pull out the hard stuff. <laughs> Shh, this is a Christian channel. <laughs> Here's what the vegan ones look like and I'll just say that they were raised when they came out and they kind of sunk <laughs> but I will say they don't look like they're done but they harden up when they come out so you want to go by the directions. Here's our charcuterie board and there's nothing like giving your kids some coke with their vegetables and fruit. <laughs> and then we have our cookies our messy sectional already with pillows and blankets. Now on this boat and we are 
closer every dawn Ooh, We are dreamers of the shore When we can't read the sky actually folding today. Everybody's watching football. You might hear yelling because <laughs> my family's rooting for Kansas City today. <laughs> um, usually everybody folds their own and then my older daughter, oldest daughter, Rachel, she uh, will fold the towels. But honestly, I find it relaxing and I kind of need to relax today. I'm in my pajamas. We had a big snowstorm yesterday, as you saw. And after I get done with this, I'll show you a shot outside. But I just decided today I would go ahead and do the folding. Monique, if you're out there, I hope you're folding. We're folding together. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm right in front of my husband's closet, so it's easy to just throw his things in there. Here's what it's looking like outside. Very, very white out there. We got probably a foot of snow yesterday. We were scheduled to get 18 inches, but it wasn't that much. For football snacks today, we have this warm, uh, it's called Warm Nourishing Dip. It's vegan and gluten-free. You would never know that it doesn't have cheese in it. It uses cashews, and I do have a video on this. I will link it in my description box below if you are interested in the recipe. It's a definitely a family favorite. Over here we did rub on chicken wings and I will show that to you. We're going to show you the rub that we use on our chicken wings that my son Tyler showed us and my husband's going to do it for you. He doesn't do exact measurements necessarily but I will, 
put the exact measurements in the description box. Half a tablespoon of ancho chili pepper. Doesn't have to be too exact. Smoked paprika, one and a half tablespoon. One, and that's one half. Half a tablespoon of onion powder. And now we need half a tablespoon of kosher salt. This is regular salt. I don't have any kosher today. We haven't had it at some time, but not today. Dump that in. All right. Now we need one and three quarters tablespoon of light brown sugar. Good stuff right here. Lovely. Go one tablespoon and this you can like do more if you want it to be sweeter right <clears throat> but it's definitely a choice of whether you want something that's more savory or something that's more blended chili powder three quarters of a teaspoon is what it says so it's good to me now we need three quarters of a teaspoon of Regular paprika, we did the smoked paprika already. Pretty good. Let's dash more of that. Whoa! That's good stuff. A little bit more of that. One and three quarters tablespoon of cumin. Garlic powder. Half a teaspoon. Now we have ground mustard. Half a teaspoon of that. Throw that in there. And lastly, we're gonna throw in some oregano. Quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper that we normally use. This is a quarter of that. So just a little bit, that's plenty. Now what you want to do then is get that mixed around well. I usually like to make sure there's no lumps, right? So we're just gonna put it on the chicken. I'm gonna do it in the plastic container that it has here, and then I'm gonna flip them over and put them on the actual sheet pan that we're using. I think you will like this. It's, it's very mild, but it has a nice spice to it. I wanted to take a minute and talk to you friend to friend. As you write your to-do list, I have a challenge for you. I want you to think of at least one thing that you can put on the to-do list that fills your cup and helps you to feel relaxed. We're living in very, very stressful times and we're all very divided right now. There's a lot of things that we all don't agree on. We don't agree on how to handle this international emergency that we have found ourselves in. Our leaders have never had to make these types of decisions before and we have never had to live through times like these before. And so there's this underlying anxiety that even if you don't think you feel it, you're absorbing the anxiety of others around you, whether that's because you're watching the news or just you're being with people who are very anxious and stressed out. And so I just want you to recognize the fact that this is unusual and I want you to make sure you're taking care of yourself. I hope you know that my prayers are with you and that I do have a listening ear for you and I want you to ask for help if you need it. And this is a great time to be getting a counselor. There are even online counseling situ situations that you can get yourself into. But at the very least, please, one thing on your to-do list every day that fills your cup. I'm going to have some videos up here. If you need extra motivation, you can go right along with me. And for me personally, I go to sleep at night by watching a cleaning video. I don't know what it is, but watching other people work is super relaxing for me. So maybe you want to use it to relax. Maybe you want to use it to get extra motivation to get through your list. But whatever it is, give yourself grace today and know that God loves you and I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time.